Hello YouTube! Thought I'd do a quick video here. Um, I was going to do a live stream on what happens if you apply 20 plus watts to a 10 watt duplexer. And I thought, well before I do that, let's kind of do a test run to see what happens uh, before I do the live stream. Well, <laughs> I don't even need to do a live stream because I'm going to show you what happens. Um, let me explain the setup here. I have the RT, Redivus RT91 amplifier with a fan, as I did that video. Redivus RT97 repeater. I have a watt meter in between the repeater and the amplifier, just so I can monitor the output wattage of the repeater. And then I have the amplifier hooked up to the duplexer then I have a wattage meter on the output of the duplexer the image on the screen is of the output of the duplexer of course with a 100 watt dummy load okay so the fan is running as you can see I'm going to plug in the power to turn the amplifier on over on the other end, which you can't see off camera, I have a handheld uh, ball fang hooked up to a computer that plays a one kilohertz tone. It plays that tone for two minutes straight, stops for a minute, and then replays the tone again for another two minutes. That's the cycle it does. That handheld off screen is programmed to this repeater frequency. The Redivus RT97. I have a on-screen stopwatch, and I'm going to start the on-screen stopwatch as soon as I see the wattage meter go up, and that tells me when the um, amplifier is activated from the handheld. So, and it might be activating as soon as I plug it in. I don't know where it's at. On the let's try it here once. Yep, it is on. We're going to start the stopwatch. So there it is. Hopefully my camera doesn't go too wonky here. And I got I started the on the online uh, stopwatch. And look at that. It's already dropping. And it's not the amplifier that's making the water drop. It's the duplexer. The longer I let this thing run, the more it drops in wattage. And we're only at 30 seconds, and it's already dropping. Oh, now it stopped. Now we got to wait for it to rekey up in about a minute. So, so we're at 40 seconds. Matter of fact, what I'll do is let's let's stop this. Let's only do this when it keys up. As soon as I see a key up, I'm going to hit the start. We're going to see how many seconds it takes for that uh, wattage to start dropping. So as soon as the key's up, I'm going to restart the, the online timer here. And hopefully you're not getting too much interference here. But she drops wattage pretty quick and pretty fast. So if you're trying to use... At least with my duplexer, and that duplexer is out of the Redivus repeater now. Maybe I didn't mention that. That duplexer comes out of the repeater, the stock duplexer. Okay, there we go. We started now. Let's hit, hit the time. And watch that needle. And where are we at here? Ten seconds according to the clock. I think it's already starting to drop. This is a two minute key up. One minute off is the cycle we're doing. And I have obviously the fan on the amplifiers running. 30 seconds. Yeah, she's, she's dropping. See that? 45 seconds. We're already down to what 15 watts already 50 seconds 
yeah we're we're gonna we're gonna be down to yeah under a minute now we're at 60 seconds one minute one minute key up and she's already dropped down five watts and there's the proof right there we're at 106 we're at 15 watts and that's one minute key up that's not really long so and if I if I let it go it's gonna keep dropping She's gonna keep dropping. We're at a minute and 27 seconds. Yep, that needle's moving off off the 15 mark. So there you have it. If you're running more than 10 watts in that duplexer, you're probably you're probably not doing it because at least with mine, it's dropping fast. Let's see what the temperature is on the on the uh, dummy load here. Yeah, we're at 100 and. Yeah, about 100, 100 on that dummy load. So she dummy load's getting really nice and warm. So let's hit stop. The time stopped. And we're going to do it again. We're going to start this again. I'm going to show you that one more time. When she keys up, I'll start the online timer. Within about a minute, it looks like she starts, she starts dropping wattage. So if you're trying to do this, you may be losing, losing wattage using the stock duplexer. Um... Very interesting. So that's the answer. What happens? And, and I'm assuming it must maybe because of the heat buildup. I don't know if it's. I'd have to pull a duplexer apart. But this is why it is recommended that you change the duplexer if you want to add more wattage to the Redivis RT97 repeater. You need to change that duplexer. I mean, if you don't, you might be losing wattage, which you know explains. Okay, there we go. Let's hit start. And we're already starting at 15 watts. When I started the video, we're at 20 watts. So, yeah. Let's see if she drops more. We're at 11 seconds. But as you saw in the beginning of the video, I was at 20, almost 20 watts. Yeah, she's dropping. I can see the needle moving. Very interesting. Obviously, it's the top line we're reading, not the bottom. Yeah, she's dropping already. It's only been 33, 34 seconds. We're below 15 watts. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, interesting. Huh. Yeah, we're dropping already. 48 seconds. 50. Yeah, so easily under 50 seconds we dropped. We dropped a good three, four watts. And we're at a minute now. So, yeah, not not good. Well, let's let everything cool down and uh, see the water goes back up. And I'll let you know. But yeah, we're dropping. We're at a minute 25. So that's what happens when you run. Now, maybe if I had a fan on this duplexer, maybe that will help it. I don't know if all the duplexers in the Redivis, you know, everything's got tolerances and everything's a little different. But this duplexer, obviously, is why they say 10 watts is 10, you know, 10 watts. Yeah, I'm dropping real bad. Look at that. I'm going to shut this down. We're going to kill the power to the amp. Yeah, and that was at a minute and 52 seconds when you, when I saw this, when you saw the screen before I unplugged it. Um, but this is why, you know, they recommend you change that duplexer out. Now, if you look at a 50 watt duplexer, which I do have, it's a lot bigger. Let me show you that here. Hold on. It's a lot bigger. This is a 50 watt duplexer right here. Let me get this out. There's a difference. Let me move all my stuff here. Hold on. Sorry about that. That's a 50 watt duplexer right there. Look at the size difference. 50 watt, 10 watt. And if you run more than 10 watts, that duplexer is going to start dropping wattage under a minute. How much wattage? I guess it will vary from duplexer to duplexer with this type. But uh, there you have it. Um, <laughs> very interesting. Now, actually, before I unplug the amplifier, let's let that duplexer cool down. 
and let's see if it goes back up to about 20 watts. So let's try that real quick. Where's my temp gun? Yeah, we're about 83 degrees. I'm using my infrared on the duplexer, if you're wondering. We're about my... Oh, we went down. Oh, it's still 100. I don't know if you can read that or not. Dummy load's pretty, pretty warm. So now, let's plug it. Let's plug the amplifier back in. I left the fan running to keep that, that output transistor cool. So that stays running. I can kill the power to the amp, but the fan is separate right here. That's my fan, and here's my amp. And I got a 30 amp power supply that you can't see. Let's plug this in. Nope, she's still she's still pretty low. So I may may have to cool down more. Um, but yeah, maybe I need to leave it unplugged longer. So at any rate, that I just unplugged it. Um, that's what happens when you try to run a 40 watt amplifier into a 10 watt duplexer and uh, I don't like it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below and please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.